It's week two of the NFL, and we'll see Cole Holcomb, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Steelers and the Chargers. All that and more coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the L.A. Chargers. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger club entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead. And we're off in week two. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes. And make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The numbers on the ground for Henry last week. 20 carries, 86 yards. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Oh, Thomas unable to reel that one in. And it's third down at two. When you talk about the defense for these Chargers, they are number two in the NFL against the run right now, Charles. We know it's only week one, but the results are pretty good so far. The key is, can they do it week in and week out? Because right now, they're not awarding any championships or trophies after one week of performance. Got some nice young faces playing for them. Let's see if they can get this going. Pick it now on first down. And Thomas has it get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. Completes this one to Pickens. Well, this defense for the Chargers, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. Got his man, it's Warren. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. That's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. In the second he sees an opening, the ball's soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. 
Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Chargers at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Herbert's this throw taken in by Johnston. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They need two, here's third down. Herbert now. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And he can't escape, and down he goes. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. Under pressure, they got him again. Alex Highsmith making the nice play and getting the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is taken around the 12. That'll go as a punt of 42, 7 on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw, pick it. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Here's Pickett. Work in the middle of the field, and he 
He's got a man complete, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 34-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. He finds his man complete. That's Warren. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Jalen Warren, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Steelers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And this taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Charger drive about to get going. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. From the 21, here's second and five. As they've got it as we resume action. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert back to the air. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Now it's Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Here's Herbert. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. First down, it's Herbert. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And 
the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Isaiah Spiller. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chargers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. And this fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Pickett throwing again on second down. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Off play action, pick it. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded at the 33. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. L.A. set to take over again on offense. The long drive last time out for this offense, Charles, if you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But... Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The Chargers on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and eight. Play action. It's Herbert. No, bottled up, fumble, it's out, it's loose, and it's picked up by the Steelers, and he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. And partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we've been at a lot of practices, it's not something that's practiced very often. You know, in that situation, you don't see guys really working on it, Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling. Maybe we ask them to help us with the laterals as well <laughs> and make that a better play. Now a run straight ahead with Warren. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Pickett looking to throw on second down. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And Johnson going to have a Steelers first down as the tackle is made right at the 25-yard line. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game.
To the air on first down with Pickett. To the sideline and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten, it's Pickett again. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Pardon so many times in games we see the most difficult acrobatic catches, whether it's on offense or even interceptions. In this case, this ball's tipped and popped up in the air, and it looks like a chance for a pick. And guess what? For whatever reason, they just couldn't finish the play. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's Herbert now on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. Pick it to throw on first down. His throw incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter, and there's a ways to go in this game. But that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. This now a third and four. Back to throw, pick it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First and ten, here's Pickett. Got his man, it's Warren. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Now second and five. Pickett, he's going to throw it again. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Yeah. 
And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit, but first it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. And then on Monday night, folks, you are in for a treat. They've got a good one lined up between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. And they'll run on the inside handoff. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. from the gun. They'll try to run it. Fighting throw. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Over the middle complete. It's Johnston. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 33. Now here's a handoff out of the gun, taken down at the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. He got Hogan's throw taken in by Palmer. And they move this all the way down to the nine. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now Herbert off the bootleg. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Here's Herbert. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Herbert throwing again. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. T.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick here is good. And that will knot us up at 10. 
So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And their three-point halftime lead gone now, back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Pick it. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to break of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, Herbert. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now third down and very long. Hands it off out of the gun. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here's Austin. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Here's Pickett on second down. And his throw is incomplete. He is just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. Pickett will look to throw it here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. 
And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Chargers ready to take over. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Now it's Herbert. That's completed right side to Palmer. Call it a gain of three on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Dancing to his left. Herbert able to show his wheels as he gets the first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Herbert on first down now. That's complete to Palmer. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. From the 43, here's second and six. Herbert now. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 32-yard line. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Herbert. He gets it to Johnston. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw... Maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. To the air again, Herbert. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Chargers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had the feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. 
And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. They begin with Henry. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. They're going to have to throw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should rely more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And they will take over first and ten. Here's Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's a give up the middle. 64 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. from the gun. He'll hand this off. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. The Chargers on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and 11. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Well, that one hurts a bit. That was a golden opportunity to possibly put this one on ice, but he comes up empty. And how big of a miss might that turn out to be? Stay tuned. There's still time left on the clock. This could be critical. Still a one-score game. Had he hit that, it would have been two scores. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. 
They keep it with Henry on first down. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. That's going to be caught. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Michael Thomas, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Cavante Turpin now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Chargers offense back onto the field. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here comes second down at five. Back to throw here, Herbert. Oh, look at this! It's intercepted! Picked off by Cole Holcomb. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. First down carry for Henry. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Henry. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Henry. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Try to punch it in with Henry. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. Extra point right down the middle, and they will take a seven-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Charger offense making their way back out there. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So 
frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now Herbert. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, this feels like a late season game, even though it's just week two. Here's a big third down. One last throw here for Herbert. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for the Steelers, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Southern California, so long, everybody.